what is the secret to making money consistently in crypto trading, crypto investing? Do you know? Are you confused? How do you, how do you risk manage? How do you kind of adjust your portfolio? Right, in today's video, what we're gonna cover is all about probabilities. What game are we really in and how do you win consistently? How do the elite, the best of the best of the best, perform? And what is the concept that they use? That's what we're gonna to cover today. And if you don't know me by now, my name's Jagir. I'm the award-winning author of The Extraordinary New Venture Capital Opportunity, How to Invest Like a Pro. I've been trading currencies for over 15 years. Now I apply that knowledge to cryptocurrency. I was also featured in the best-selling book, High Probability Trading Strategies, back in 2008. Fun fact, I can spin on my head, yes. I used to be a math teacher, but now I bring that knowledge and wisdom. Hopefully, it was, you know, all those spinning on my head is helping me with my crypto information. But today, I want to get a concept across to you because if you can really understand this, it just changes everything, and you'll feel more peace of mind, especially if you're new to trading, because crypto can be quite volatile in terms of the price movement. So this is going to be really, really important. And if you like today's video, hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell notification. If you haven't taken my crypto trading class course how to fund your retirement is in the description below it just goes into more of the key concepts and my three top secrets three top secrets on what you need to know to make money consistently so the reality is we're on the we're in the business of making money when it comes to investing in any anything whether it's stocks and shares whether it's the forex markets which is currencies whether it's commodities whether it's real estate property whatever it is crypto we're in the business of making money what I want you to get into your mind today, which most people get wrong, is we are not in the business of being right. So many individuals, you have probably at some point, because I know what I did, got hung up on, am I right? Did I buy and did I make a profit? Did I buy and did it go down? Ultimately, we do not know the outcome. We have to let go of that illusion of control. It's all a probabilities game. And your job as the investor, as the trader, who is getting better by the day and is training, is to beat the odds. You become the casino, so you have the edge in your favor. That is the real secret. So what does good look like? You know, what does good look like? If you're a good trader, let's say you've been trading for six months, a year, or just on a, on a global scale, what does good look like? Well, if a trader did 10 trades, how many of them would be winning trades, like really unfolded and the market unfolded as the analysis indicated? Well, believe it or not, it's only 20 to 30%. That's right. You can make phenomenal money, and I'm going to show you in a clearer example exactly how. If you're only right 20 to 30 percent of the time, you can make some serious money, and now you're in the really like the good level, the really good level. What is very good look like? Very good to excellent, 30 to 40 percent. If your analysis is unfolding as anticipated, 30 to 40 percent of the time, you're in like the top five percent, top three percent, top two percent, maybe even top one percent of all traders on the planet. On the planet. Right? If you're able to do it consistently, not for a one-off trade or you've just done three trades, you know, if you've done 100 trades, 200 trades over a period of one year, two years, five years, 10 years, this is now getting to a very good level. What is the world's elite? The elite level? Have a guess. What do you think it is? The 90%, 99%, 100%, 60%, 70%, 75%? Well, if you're able to get 50% plus, it's beyond the world's elite. Like any guy that's the, a fund manager or managing large quantities of money, the pros, investment bankers, and they were right 50% plus of the time, next level, next level. So you don't need to be right all the time. So we're going to let go of that illusion of control. So it's all about winning and losing, right? But what does losing mean? Lose means you have to make a small profit if you do proper capital preservation and risk management. Break even. So the market doesn't unfold and stops you out. You, you break even. And small loss, you know, you only risk a certain percentage of your portfolio of any, on any trade to see if you're right. And if you're right, you make great profits. If you're wrong, you have to take a small loss, break even, or a small profit. But when you win, when it unfolds, you make large profits. The trend is your friend, ride it until its end, until it reaches its bend. And we want to ride that trend. W.D. Gann, one of the forefathers of technical analysis back in the 1800s, mid-1900s, said the big money is made in the big moves. And we want to hold our positions for weeks and months where possible when the trend is strong and even add and compound on those positions. Let's just do an example. If you invested a thousand dollars and small profit, small profit is what we said is one of the outcomes. Let's just say that's 10% to hundred percent. Crypto land where gravity doesn't exist, hundred percent is small profit, right? So it's like hundred percent meaning 1,000 turns to 2,000, right? 
So that's small profit. That's one of the outcomes. When you lose, when you get it wrong, right? What? What you get? I can make money when I'm wrong. Hang on. How does that work? Now I cover this in a bit more detail in the crypto masterclass, by the way, how to fund your retirement, which is free. Take it, it's in the description below. It's phenomenal, getting great feedback. So take it, it'll just make stuff a lot clearer for you. Break even means zero, meaning you invest a thousand and you get your thousand back. So there's no loss, no return, just your money back, break even. That's a great thing to be able to do. If you're able to do that, you're on a different planet in comparison to people that don't have any money management skills, trade management abilities or, or know-how. Why? Because it allows you to confidently invest and know sometimes you're going to make a small profit, sometimes it's break even, sometimes it's small loss, and other times it's a big, big profit. Small loss is 1% to 100%, meaning if you risk a thousand pounds or dollars to invest in a particular coin, the maximum you can lose is a thousand. And sometimes that will occur. Welcome to the, the game of investing and trading. Taking a loss is just the cost of doing business when it comes to trading and investing. I can't change those rules. It's a zero sum game, meaning there needs to be winners and there needs to be losers, you know, in, when it comes to any, any financial market. When you win, however, though, this is where I want you to really focus because people don't get this concept. You know, okay, it might be because I used to be a math teacher and I used to teach mathematics up to, I was qualified to teach up to A levels, so I got a math degree. And if you just do this logic, though, this is just a simple math and we don't have to make it complicated because Leonardo da Vinci said it best simplicity is the ultimate sophistication. When you lose, you make a small profit or you break even or you take a small loss. And when you win, you make 500% to 3,000% plus. Then all of a sudden, when you invest at a thousand, you get 5,000 to $30,000 back. There you go, okay, they're the kind of odds I can play with. Why? Because you can do the math. Well, let's actually kind of think about it in a bit of a different concept concept or context. <laughs> Tell me if I'm a math teacher coming, coming out, right? You got a bag of marbles, right? If you pick out a green marble, you get a certain result. Red marble, a different result. And a blue marble, a different result. So what we're gonna use, the green marble represents the large profit which is 20% of the time in this example, meaning you'll get a 10X. So if you invest a thousand, you'll get 10,000 back, right? That's how I want you to think about it, probabilities. Red represents break even. I know we said break even or small profit, but let's just go with break even to keep it simple. And we're gonna say that happens 50% of the time, five out of 10. And last one at least is a loss. So um, anytime we get a blue marble in this example is we've got a probability of 30% of getting a blue marble It is we take a loss. So we, if you invest a thousand, you lose a thousand. That's just the risk. There's always risk associated. It's all about managing risk and minimizing risk. So you invested a thousand dollars a hundred times, let's say over a course of a year, you're making money, losing money, making break evens, and you're making them large profits. Over a, a course of a year, you've done a hundred investments. Each time is a thousand. Why am I choosing a thousand? It's just a simple round number that makes it easy for us. And let's just say your starting capital was $33,000. So 1,000 is actually 3% of 33,000, right? And that's a good number to be risking per trade, by the way, 3%. Why? It's best practice. If you look at the world's elite, that's what they do. So we don't need to reinvent the world. We can just kind of plug and play. So if you took, if you did 100 investments and 30% of them, which is 30, um, were losses and you invested 1,000 each time, the losses occurred during that, let's just call it a year, over 100 investments was 30,000. Look, no one likes to take a loss. You know, I don't, right? but it's just a part of doing business when it comes to trading and investing. And the faster you can get to the reality of that, the better you're gonna get in terms of making money. Break even, 50% of the time, 50% of 100 is 50, times 1,000 is 50,000. So you invested in 50 different projects over the course of the year, and you know the market moved up, but then we moved our stop loss and then it stopped us back out and we broke even. We go, okay, that happened 50, 50 times, great. Profits, all right. So if you got the first two parts right with money management, Profits when the trend unfolded and we rolled that trend till its end. 20% of the time, so it's 20 uh, of 20% of 100 is 20 times a thousand is, you got it, 200,000. So we've got bang. So 20% and sorry, this and plus the 10x, right? That, that's where we get the x is zero. And each time it does a 10x, so I was thinking it's not no, to just 20,000, but it's a 10x. So it's 20% uh, of 100 is 20 times a thousand is. 20,000, and each time we get a 10x, which is a 10 times multiple. That's what this 200,000 represents. So if we did the the books, so to speak, the accounts, the P&L at the end of the year, after 100 trades, we made 200,000 profits. We broke even, which is 50,000, and we've taken losses of 30,000. The total net is 220,000. That means your whole portfolio has grown 
by 700%. Not bad, right? Not bad. I think that was the last slide. That was the last slide. There you go. So now you know. It's all about probabilities, right? And if you like today's video, hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell notification. Take my crypto trading masterclass. It's free. It's in the description below. It's, it's around, I think it's around 30 minutes, I think. I tried to kind of, it's the top three secrets and I covered this in a bit more depth because it's so important to get as a concept as well as exit strategies, as well as understanding the technicals of Fibonacci and Elliott Wave and how to maximize your entry points and exit points. So great, I will see you in a future video. This is one of my top lessons on probabilities. Hopefully you found it useful. Also, if you think someone else will find it useful, share it with them. Most people don't understand this and most people don't talk about this. Yeah, so it takes a bit of thinking. But look, man, we're humans. We've got this brain, we've been given this brain is to use some thinking, but you can also lean on me so I can do some of the thinking for you. All right, I'll see you in the very near future in one of my future videos.